In the rapidly evolving landscape of modern warfare, Sweden has emerged as a pioneer with its cutting-edge drone swarm technology, developed by Saab in close collaboration with the Swedish Armed Forces. This innovative system, capable of enabling a single operator to control up to 100 drones of varying sizes, marks a significant leap in autonomous military capabilities. Launched in 2024, the project was spurred by lessons from the Ukraine-Russia conflict, where drones have reshaped battlefield dynamics. Sweden's strategic position as a new NATO member and its proximity to an increasingly assertive Russia in the Nordic and Baltic regions provide critical context for this development. With defense spending rising to 2.2% of GDP in 2024 and plans to reach 2.6% by 2028, Sweden is prioritizing cost-effective, scalable technologies to bolster its military readiness. The drone swarm system, emphasizing flexible software over hardware, reflects Sweden's ambition to maintain a qualitative edge in a volatile security environment, aligning with NATO's broader technological goals. The role and purpose of this drone swarm technology are multifaceted, designed to enhance Sweden's military versatility and resilience. Primarily, the system excels in intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance enabling autonomous drones to gather real-time data, monitor strategic areas, and identify hostile targets with precision. Beyond ISR, the system holds potential for target acquisition and, if adapted, offensive operations by carrying payloads such as explosives. Its built-in communication redundancy ensures data relay in contested electronic warfare environments, a critical feature in modern conflicts where jamming is prevalent. By allowing a single operator to manage a swarm, the technology serves as a force multiplier, enabling smaller militaries like Sweden's to project significant battlefield presence. This capability is particularly vital for countering numerically superior adversaries, overwhelming enemy defenses, and maintaining situational awareness in dynamic scenarios. For NATO, Sweden's drone swarms strengthen collective defense, especially in the strategically sensitive High North where Arctic tensions with Russia are escalating. Recent developments underscore the project's rapid progress and operational promise. Initiated in 2024, the system was developed in an unprecedented 12 months compared to the typical four or five years through an unconventional collaboration involving Saab, the Swedish Armed Forces, the Swedish Defense Material Administration, and the Swedish Defense Research Agency. This accelerated timeline was driven by high-level government involvement and a sense of urgency to address emerging threats. In March 2025, the technology was rigorously tested during the Arctic Strike 25 exercise, a NATO-led operation involving 20,000 troops from 13 countries. Conducted in harsh Arctic conditions, the exercise validated the swarm's effectiveness in reconnaissance and coordination demonstrating its interoperability with allied forces. Saab's software innovation allows off-the-shelf commercial drones to be transformed into coordinated swarms, each equipped with specialized capabilities such as sensors, payloads, or communication systems. The system's autonomy enables drones to self-manage tasks, return for recharging, and adapt to battlefield changes, earning praise as groundbreaking from defense experts. However, Questions about autonomy levels, human control, and technical reliability, such as navigation if a drone is lost, persist, with Saab emphasizing safeguards to ensure meaningful human control in line with NATO's ethical standards. The Arctic strike demonstration also sparked interest from other NATO countries, signaling potential for broader adoption. Implementation plans are moving swiftly to integrate the technology into Sweden's defense framework. Following the successful March 2025 tests, deployment is scheduled to begin with Swedish Army units, starting with the I-13 Infantry Regiment in Falun by late 2025. Training programs are being established to equip operators and combat units with the skills needed for seamless integration, with personnel trainable in days, a testament to the system's user-friendly design. The software-centric approach ensures continuous updates to counter new threats, preventing obsolescence and enhancing adaptability. 
Sweden is also positioning the technology for NATO integration, sharing lessons from trials like Project Convergence 2024, which involved Saab's AI-focused subsidiary, Blue Bear. This interoperability strengthens Sweden's role within the alliance and could lead to standardized swarm technology across NATO forces. Looking ahead, Saab plans to enhance the system with advanced payloads and improved resistance to electronic warfare, ensuring its relevance in future conflicts. The implications of this technology for Sweden and the region are profound, reshaping military, strategic, and economic landscapes. For Sweden, the drone swarm system cements its status as a NATO leader in autonomous systems, enhancing deterrence amid rising tensions with Russia, particularly along Finland's 830-mile border and in the Arctic. The technology aligns with Sweden's broader military modernization, maximizing the impact of its defense investments. Regionally, it bolsters Nordic security through joint exercises like Arctic Strike, now Nordic Response, fostering coordination with Norway, Finland, and other allies. For NATO, Sweden's advancements help close the technological gap with adversaries like China, which has developed similar systems. Economically, Saab's success strengthens Sweden's defense industry, with potential export opportunities boosted by the 2023 acquisition of Blue Bear, enhancing AI and swarm expertise. However, the technology raises ethical challenges, including concerns about the dehumanization of warfare and the need for robust regulatory frameworks to ensure human oversight. Critics note that while the system's autonomy is a strength, its reliability in contested environments against jamming or swarm countermeasures remains untested and the rapid development timeline may conceal vulnerabilities. Nevertheless, Sweden's commitment to ethical standards and NATO collaboration positions it to navigate these challenges responsibly. In conclusion, Sweden's drone swarm technology represents a strategic leap in modern warfare, blending innovation, rapid development, and NATO integration to address 21st century security challenges. Its successful testing, imminent deployment, and potential for regional and alliance-wide impact underscore Sweden's growing influence in defense technology. As the system evolves, balancing technical reliability, ethical considerations, and strategic ambitions will be critical to ensuring its long-term success. For now, Sweden's drone swarms stand as a testament to its ability to adapt and lead in an era of transformative warfare.